Welcome to another Keep A Reet episode, The Reet Chronicles, with yourself, myself, Jason Aaron. Today, we are up in Queensland for some special business. We've got our friend, John Dreyer, in his partner's car, Beck's car. Spicy Century V12 Gangster Tank has been kind enough to pick me up and um, it had me stay for the night and bring me to the track and help me out. And we are heading to, it's bright and early right now, we've got our breakfast and we're heading to Queensland Raceway to do some secret testing on our car that we're coming back to drive for Driftmasters. We're getting it dialed. No more Commodore adventures with cars that aren't set up and are not happy with. So I've come up, I'm testing this car. In not too long we'll be at this track and, uh, and you'll see what it is. Ties close, I whittled them down Stick it to them by sticking around A gang online, Iwo Jima got one flag And it's sticking the ground Setting up shop Think I got the message across Came for the titles and press for the watch We play at the level Hello John Hello Welcome to the vloggers Oh, sick <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? John Good is mate. a Victorian Good. driver I'm new up here He's new up here, he's just moved up I'm new uh, If you don't know who John is, he's got the SR20 Bluebird, he's driven some of our Battle Royale Spice. and he's been around for about 30 years in the scene. <laughs> you know, he's an OG. Yeah, yeah, we've done some big drift together, done a bit of this, a bit of that. You know, we've been around the country, yeah. been to Japan together, yeah. bang doors. Tell me about this entry. This is a 2015, it's the newest one I've seen in Australia. Yeah, I was so surprised when I heard it was like a new model car because it's literally like it looks like a 1980s something <laughs> yeah. they just haven't even changed yeah. the design ah uh, but yeah v12 leather everything reclinable get your feet through there you can literally like be able to sit in the back seat feet through was there a reason for that don't know because like just to chill out yeah it's business they're like a yeah. chauffeur's car <laughs> you can put the headrest down <laughs> it's got like a little tv little gangster century remote 5,000 buttons for no apparent reason. These are all electric, everything's electric. Oh, they're not. Okay. They're not? Uh, they just claim they are. <laughs> These ones are electric. <laughs> Heated seats, massage. Heated seats. Ooh, oh, massage yeah. rear seats, god damn. Oh, and this factory Toyota shoehorn. Oh, I thought it was like a hole <laughs> to smack people. <laughs> Gangster center caps. Ooh, that's a peacock. Oh, that's a Phoenix. That's a Phoenix. Nah, peacock, man. That's peacock. <laughs> Air bag. Air bag. Yeah. These spicy things, green things. He's missing the parking poles though, like the Merc. Check's up there about it. <laughs> and this is the, these are the motors, like like the W140 with the V12. These are the, this is one of those motors where they put that equal length, one million dollar F1 exhaust. That you see on um, on YouTube. I'm trying to convince John to do it. He's only just he's only just taken about five muffles out. And they're still quiet as hell. Need to loud it up. Need that F1 luxury car. That's plastic. They got two ACUs though. Yeah, fine for each side. Yeah, yeah. That's it. It'll fully run on like six cylinders only. Yeah. I don't know why. That's crazy. So you can get the president home. It's also got the, the soft close rear door. So you can just... Ooh! Ooh. All right, let's head to QR, Queensland Raceway. What is that? It's hideous. Ooh! That's an AU Forte with max cam, but <laughs> slam. Got some more Spice Mobiles. Love me, IS. 200? 200? Yeah. Uh, yeah, 200. 300, no. 300, don't. 300, don't, no. Always wanted to build one of them with like a 2J or something. Ooh, Lionel will be proud. Got the Starlet. Is it Starlet? Yeah. Ooh, Fitment. Oh, the big boy. That... Oh, the tree. <laughs> here we are, sun's out, beautiful Queensland weather, and my car's not here, we've done our briefing, and my car hasn't shown up yet, so, I don't know what's going on there. We've got a spicy new garage, next to Saxon Moyers, so he took home um, second place when we were here last, uh, in the Barra Wagoon, for the high tech round four, or whatever it was. Such a nice track here, they do have the old tie barriers out on track, 
which is everyone's a bit upset about, but you just gotta take it easy and you won't have an issue. So we're running the same layout as high tech. We've got to send the wagon over New Zealand after the final round of high tech, which is in September. Uh, I need to sort of get it all, we need to get it all prepped up and, and on the boat as soon as we can. Don't really want to risk hurting it anymore and definitely don't have time to send it up to Queensland. So um, you'll see, uh, old mate lent me his car. It's a pretty cool story. Uh, as to why he's lending it and whatnot, so we'll go through that when he gets here. Yeah, so he's, he's been uh, kind enough to, to let me test and then use the car for Drift Masters to see what Rob Weiss got cooking. Pretty keen to check it out, it's a night event, which I'm all about. Now we're definitely going to go hard and, and get the line down pat and make sure the tyres are set right. Got the Zek Novas uh, on board for this one, so we'll uh, we'll go through that when it all gets here. How are we? Who's this? Oh, just some random bloke. Hey. We're just here at Queensland Raceway. As you can yeah. see, Tony Quinn and the team have done an absolute outstanding job. <laughs> These were never here, people. This didn't exist. That did, but this didn't. So, things are changing, Jason. You done? Yeah. <laughs> so we got Mr. Sam Meredith from Wreckham. And he's on the, on the camera behind the lens today. On the, he's gonna get some of our spicy track footage and, and B-roll. We're gonna but, film some turn six mulching, Jason. Yeah, yeah, we'll try capturing slow-mo yeah. the, the, through the tie barrier. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah look, out, look out for the tires. The mayor's always bringing the vibes, so yeah. We're just waiting on a car. We're just waiting on a car, yeah. Jason. You need, a, you need yeah. something to pedal. Yeah. They did a great job down at Battle Royale. Oh, thank you very yeah. much. Thanks, thanks for everyone for being so kind. That's it, no, everyone, one, no one king hit me in the pits. I was waiting <laughs> for it. Uh, uh, great quality banders. If you liked what Mez was about, make sure you make a comment and let us know if we should get him back because I reckon we should. I, yeah, yeah. I saw someone called us peanuts. So. <laughs> <laughs> that was on the live stream, but I don't That's think, right. yeah, they might have. You always get that. Yeah. You, you always get a few, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think the car's going to rock up at some point. Uh, Cars are going on track now, so it's not a good start, but we'll get there. I think it's a four hour session. We've got about eight tyres, four pairs, so we don't have that many tyres, just more for testing. I'll just go through it now. We've got four of the Zegnova Supersport RS, and we've got four of the R1s. Now this car does have 600 kilowatts, so it should have no issues with the R1, but once it gets here, I'll go through it a little bit more. And basically you're gonna see which tire matches the car perfect, and that's what we'll commit to for Drift Masters. I'll see you when the car's here. Oh, speak of the devil, here she rolls up now. Here he is, who's this? Mr. Grant, Grant. All kitted up, look at this. Keep Reppin', oof. Oh, Good night, right, Jason. Yeah. How you doing? Here she is, huh? It's the girl. It's the girl. It's the girl. It's the chariot. Fresh. All the fresh thinkers. Ooh. 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 Three to blaze. The old 265 R1s. Spicy. You reckon she'll do it? Depends how big your balls are. <laughs> you got this? She's only got 600. So. She good. <laughs> 600. Is that all? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> it, ain't, it ain't no John Dre, Rigger. <laughs> so, we've got a uh, 1.5J, S15. What did they make at the end? A little bit, it's a little spicy. How many boosts? How many power? It's 35 PSI and it made 886 horsepower at the wheels. Ooh, which is kilowatt? 660. For us Victorians? For you. For you Mexicans. Ooh. <laughs> so it's a little bit spicier than the wagon, but she doesn't have that bar of torques. She does. But she's got a little bit extra she reps. Ain't no spicy food, but it does have a fresh, nice she's silver fresh. coat. She's fresh. She's got a bit of girth to her too. Yeah, yeah. she's 75 mil wide bodied BM yeah, She's stuff. very girthy. Uh, some fluoro accents, and there was apparently supposed to be some fluoro wheels that didn't make it in time, yeah. but, but we'll have it looking spicy for Drift Masters. It if all be, goes well, if all goes be, well. Big, keep it right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got anyone to thank for this car so far? Give him uh, a shout my out. My boy Damo, yeah. yeah. Where is he? Hey, Damo. Yeah. Yeah. This is yeah. Damo from Pofix. He's the one who built the car. So he cleaned it up, he's done everything. So. Hopefully we're not doing it after today. <laughs> yeah, we're not having three for three a crash and stuff, eh? Hey, it's four. 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 Well, third time lucky, we're done. <laughs> oh, let's get her off, get her in the pits, and let's get her on track, because the track time's already started. Oh, well. All right, so, what have we got? A stalled motor. So, G35. I think it's in a six boost or CRG. Um, 2J bottom man. 1J non VCT head. Yeah, so I'm not sure how laggy, or it's a small turbo, so it should come on pretty quick. We've got GDR rear end, T56 box, 
You reckon the G-Force is going in it, but whatever. TVD6 will do. Uh, wise fab front end. Uh, we've uh, got our good mate, Marcus McCarthy. Traction tires to give us the, uh, the mint alignment setting. So he set it all up um, for me up here uh, to those specs. So fingers crossed, she steers good from the get go, but we might have to do some refining. But if it is, it won't, shouldn't be too much. Zeki's to go up front and the 265 Super Sports and the R1 to test out on the back. So we got eight of them. Uh, we've got to get this car ready and I'll get kitted up and set some cameras up and, and get the car warmed up on track. And as per usual, BYO Nardi, because you have to. We've got a little, little boy Momo on there. So we'll get that boy on there. And while we're at it, we'll change these headlights over. Sensitive on his headlights, but... Not a fan, but it's his car, so it can't be too. The rest is all right. You can at least go black, or the Santa headlights are spicy. You know, but it doesn't matter. We gon' run it back. Shotties in the back, wanna run it back. We ain't turning back, we ain't done with that. She be showing cat, I'm a dog on that. We ain't talking cat, we gon' run it back. So a couple of things so far. We got no dose pipe, that's pretty important. Had no potty on there, so we put a potty, but we can't find a clamp yet. Um, handbrake's a bit loosey-goosey. Seat, seat rail's a bit floppy, jalopy. And the, it's got a TPD6 with the standard um, standard uh, sloppy sloppy shifter, so it'd be hard to find a third. But we're gonna do, he's reckon he's gonna change it after anyway. That, that's probably the worst part, the, the shifting. But if it, if it does the job and gets in nice and quick enough, there shouldn't be an issue. Uh, hopefully it's got enough strength in it. Yeah, we're we'll taking it easy, we'll ease it in. Um, let's get out there, let's just get out there.
first initial thoughts, it drives like a drift car. <laughs> so that's a good start. So we're one up on the Commodore. Little things like Johnny Boy puts the steering wheel on wrong. <laughs> it was a little bit floaty in the front. Uh, that seat doesn't hold me very good, so I just gotta max that harness, especially around my lap, so I don't fly around everywhere. Um, so we're stiffing up the front. Uh, the rear was a bit loose. I'm gonna drop the tire pressure in front and rear, a bit understeery too. Uh, it's got a lot of initial turn in. You've really got to keep the revs up real high. It has a, like a just very dead spot between uh, probably anything under four and a half thousand RPM. It dies in the ass, so just got to make sure it's up there. About apart from that, she's she's not bad, son. She's not bad. She, she, she can blaze. We'll get those things dialed and we'll get back out there. Got we had little little clearance issues too. What was it, Johnny boy? The uh, brake bracket and the rail. Uh, true, so the body mount brake bracket hitting. It, it clears out, it's got a lot of lock. I reckon it's got more lock than the Wagoon. All right, almost done, we've dropped down 15 PSI, more in the rear, full stiff in the front. Uh, lock clearance and drop the fronts down as well. Um, and see if she's a bit nicer. Keep them revs up. <laughs> we lost our intake. Got a pain in the ass. Pops back into first. You reckon it was because that no, did the big backfire, did it? It's like cough. Yeah, it didn't feel like it did that much. I was like for one millisecond, but it, yeah. Because it hit boost, it, it still hit boost yeah, yeah, coming yeah. into it. Yeah, and then it lost it all. We thought it was, we thought it was cooler piping, but uh, yeah, that, that ain't cooler piping. Got a welder here. Looks like we're getting a plasma Upgrade. Either way, it felt much nicer. Steering car heats better on full click stiff, so there's a few things. Lock stops. Lock stops are a better shifter bucket seat. Apart from that, it's solid. Just need to keep the revs up. Yeah, early beers. All right, so that's pretty much our, our day done and dusted. Uh, we've got a bit of a list now. The Grandy boy's very excited to the, the extend the list for him a little bit. Yeah. But all in all, the car was. Um, it, it steered right, and it just needed those few little tweaks and a few little things like personal preferences and stuff like that. Um, but it's definitely at a level to, to do well in drift passes, no doubt. Unfortunately, we didn't get to test the tyres, but at least we've got some grippy boys. I reckon we'll just commit to the, the RSs, because we were still on a pretty high, we were still on a pretty high pressure, so we got plenty to drop it down and whatnot. So I want to say a mass, massive thanks to Grant. I uh, really appreciate it having me up and, and uh, driving his beast. Uh, he's only just finished building this car, and. Um, and he did have a, a bit of a backstory on, on uh, why he was happy to give me that car, so I'll leave it to you. So, July last year I had a pretty major car accident where I shattered basically from my chest to my knee, nine surgeries deep, told I was never allowed to drift again, and then flew down for um, judging drift masters. It's kind of down now, and I was like, you know, can't really drift, I was over it. And Jason approached me and said, come down to keep her eat, and um, judge the boys down there, have a bit of fun, and took me under his wing and kind of lifted my spirits and yeah well this is my 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 return thank you to him and the keeper eight guys like i'm like forever in their debt because all they've done has helped driving a drift masters hopefully he doesn't crash like all the other cars he drives <laughs> i thought it was pretty cool that he'd yeah offer his car up like this and uh, and that sort of backstory because it's it's what we're all about you know just coming together there's no there's no bullshit like when we first met uh, he was like absolutely G'd up at World Tire Attack about the wagon. Like, this guy's got some sick vibes. And I hate 31. <laughs> I hate 31. I was seeing that and I was like, all right, love it. So, like, and yeah, we liked his judging style and all that. So, we're like, yeah, let's get him down and, and tee something up. So, we flew him down uh, for Battle Royale and he's been good. And uh, he's basically part of the fam now, part of the team. Um, so, he's just been treating me the same, which is amazing. Um, and, yeah, it's just, you know, it's great to be able to support. Um, each other and, and that's sort of what we want you know across the scene to just have everyone just to be able to come to any any track any event and just feel feel at home don't feel like you're segregated in like you know yeah. push aside or talk shit or people paying out your car yeah, got, got as long as it's all in the fun of banter we're gonna kill the whole saga and you know like oh this person and that person in melbourne and queensland like cut the shit and let's just all have fun and grow together yeah. It is somewhat worlds apart, and the scene is definitely big up here, so it does make it harder. Anyway, thanks again, mate. Thanks, Appreciate brother. it. Anytime. And we'll be back for Drift Masters.
get this thing sorted and ready to blade. Thanks for watching, make sure you like, subscribe. We're gonna head to drift cars now. Ooh.